Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a good pal, and it's great to see you, man, <laughs> Mr. Terry Stump. How are you, brother? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. good. Uh, I talk, I was just telling him off camera, and I was like, we need to record this because I know that the listeners of the show are going to be interested in this. You told me when we met maybe four or five years ago now, your business, and it yes. blew my mind. It's going to blow your mind. And <laughs> what Terry does is he owns mail routes throughout the country. So mail routes that you assume are, you know, they are USPS mail routes. Yes. Sometimes they're contracted or other people own them. Right now, I'm going to shut up and let the expert tell you how that works. Well, what it is, it's uh, the post office has subcontracted out mail delivery for years, every, everything back to the Pony Express days. Back to the, back to the Pony Express was literally, we were delivering our mail, some of the ballsiest people ever in the history of the world on horse. Yes. And um, it's continued this day, but the, the American public really doesn't know it. The, um, my business is delivering uh, mailbox to mailbox to businesses and homes. And uh, a lot of people think we're either rural carriers or we're uh, city carriers, but which we're, we're not. We're, we're subcontracted through the United States Postal Service. And your mail that goes from the mailbox or the post office to the outlying areas, those are contractors. Your mail that's delivered in semis across the nation, those are contractors, but I do box to box delivery. And how, how did you get into it? Well, I built a home in Florida outside of Tallahassee and, and uh, put up a mailbox, put in my forward, and I wasn't receiving my mail. And so I went to the little small town post office and asked them where my mail was. And they said, who are you? And I told them my name and they gave me this big tote of mail and I asked them why they weren't delivering it. They said I was supposed to get a P.O. box and that they weren't going to be delivering out into my new subdivision for six or eight more months. And I wasn't happy with the response. And I said, uh, Jesus Christ, how do you get a job around here? And they said, do you want to deliver the mail? And I said, it can't be rocket science. And so they gave me a number to Memphis, Tennessee, to the transportation office. They sent me out a packet. I filled it out, telling them how much I would do it for. The next week, I was delivering my own mail, and everybody else is in the subdivision. And you become the mailman, just like that. Just like that. Wow. Easier than Carl Malone did it, folks, to tell you that much. <laughs> and then from there, and then, how, like, how long did it take for you to say, can I get another one? Well, I didn't know that. I was in this office, and they said, are you delivering the, the mail in, in, in another town in Florida? I said, no. And they said, well, they need somebody tomorrow. And I said, well, can I do it both? They said, yes. So I went down and scoped out the area, gave them an offer, and started doing both routes the same day. And how many states are you in now? Now we have about 70 contracts in 19 states. 19 states almost half of the United States of America, folks. That is incredible. You just taught all the knucklehead <laughs> listeners of the Charlie Boots Network something <laughs> they definitely didn't know. And guys, we are right here at the Fred Bolitnikoff Golf Tournament. So this fact has been brought to you by Bolitnikoff Wines. Share a glass with a friend, sip, talk about the times, and learn yourself a thing or two. There you go. T, thank you so much. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man.